हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 976 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ फोम रबर एक्चुअली फोम रबर इज मैन्युफैक्चर बाय टू मेथड वन इज दैट इज गैस ब्लोइंग इनटू कंपाउंड लेटेक्स एंड सेकंड वन इज बाय केमिकल प्रोसेस so by gas blowing uh, the gas uh, blowing is done in compound uh, latex uh, liquid and in to this we are adding uh, gel agent and gel agent is either potassium or sodium silicon uh, this uh, fluoride and this uh, gel agent is added to give the hardness uh, so that it can be shaped and in this some other uh, foaming material uh, is added that is in the form of either soap or uh, that is fatty acid and then it is molded and finally it comes in the form of foam and here the correcting uh cell structure uh will be having some uh puffy mass and that will give it uh, in, in the form of open uh, cell uh, structure and that will uh be shaped in presence of uh, zinc and that at that time uh, the maintenance of pH is very important at pH 10 uh this zinc is uh, added and then slowly the pH is uh, uh i can say uh, the alkalinity is reduced and it goes slightly alkaline or towards neutral that is from uh 8 to 7 or 9 to 8 pH and finally it is uh recover and it is given shape and this foam araba is very much in use for making a different type of uh foam a bed mattresses pillows and some packing material and it is highly abrasive means uh, it will resist atmospheric oxygen to undergo oxidation uh, that's why uh, it is widely used in lot of domestic uh, purpose so number 1 is that is foam rubber and here the method is given uh, how industry you can manufacture foam rubber uh, the foam rubber can be manufactured by bubbling a gas into compound liquid latex uh, followed by gelling uh, with the help of gelling agent and usually the gelling agent is like sodium or potassium uh, silico fluoride that is na2 si f6 is very important uh, gelling agent and it has uh, main role to play uh, to change the liquid stay into some strong uh, solid fluid type of material which can be molded so fluid that is na2 uh, sif6 in a mold and curing number 2 the function of gelling agent is to harden the uh, structure produced by the bubbling gas that is the main role of it to make it hard so that it can give some shape and structure uh the product of desired shape just obtained is washed and dried and then we can use it that is how we can get the foam rubber uh some additional agents which are also used and these additional agents uh, i am giving here uh, they are used in process of foaming are uh, frothing agent frothing agent means which can make it froth to float and to make it more uh so that is called frothing agent and these frothing agents are such as castor oil soap 
So once castor oil soap is added into it, uh, that is will act as uh, frothing agent, and the foam stabilizer is also used, and that foam stabilizer is such as fatty acid soap. So the fatty acid soap they are known as stabilizer agent, and modifier is also used, and this modifier is such as ethyl zymate. So ethyl zymate is modifier agent. So these all uh, ingredients are used in the manufacture of foam rubber and the pH uh, control uh, is very important and gel stabilizer is such as zinc amine and zinc amine will act as uh, gel stabilizer, it will make gel to stabilize. Number three. There are two important techniques or processes which are used to manufacture the uh, foam rubber. First one that is called chemical foaming. Uh, chemical foaming means where the chemical reactions are involved, maybe hydrogen uh, peroxide to release the oxygen in the form of gas. Uh, this chemical process that is known as chemical foaming, that is also known as uh, talaya process, chemical uh, foaming. And the second one is that is known as blowing uh, foaming and blowing foaming is known as Dunlop process. So first I am giving here that is a chemical foaming process to manufacture the foam rubber and that is Talaya process. Here the foam in the latex is blown by uh, releasing oxygen from hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2. That's why it is called chemical process because here oxygen is released by the chemical process. And that chemical process is from hydrogen peroxide H2O2 which is added into latex as a chemical blowing agent. Hence the gas serving as a foam uh, produces is uh, generated uh, within the latex by the action of suitable catalyst on the uh, chemical source uh, under strict pH control. Uh, the foam is uh, quickly frozen in a mold to maintain their structure and then carbon dioxide gas is used as the coagulant. Uh, the chemical uh, foaming, the rubber latex can also be synthetic one. So number three, uh, the foam rubber can also be manufactured by extremely rapid polymerization of well selected materials under conditions which facilitates the latex form uh, to transform into foam rubber. So by selected material and with extremely rapid uh, polymerization we can also form the uh, foam rubber and by this method the polyurethane foams are manufactured in industries. Uh, number four, air blowing uh, foaming that is called uh, Dunlop process that is the second one. Uh, in this process of manufacture air is used as a foaming agent and this air as a foaming agent is not produced out of chemical reaction otherwise it is known as chemical foaming that's why it is known as air blowing uh, foaming technique so directly air is used as a foaming agent and passed directly into the latex foam thus latex foam before gelling consists of dispersion of air bubbles uh, in the latex serum and also the dispersion of the rubber globules in the same uh, aqueous liquid, there is possibility of breaking of the structure uh, during vulcanization because of bursting of the air cells. So this air bubbling 
uh, is uh, making all these uh, uh, globule rubbers and that is breaking the structure during vertilization because of the bursting of the air cells. Uh, the gelling agent such as uh, sodium, silicon, silico, fluoride that is Na2SiF6 is added into the system after passing the air. Uh, as a result, pH of the system decreases due to the formation of HF, hydrogen fluoride. And the reaction is given here, Na2SiF6 plus 4H2O, 2NaF plus 4HF plus SiOH4. As a result, a removal of fatty acid so uh, rubber particles hence coagulate to form a gel when pH is 10, zinc oxide is added. Uh, when pH uh, decreases to 7 to 8, uh, the bubble of the air break to form in uh, connecting uh, cellular structure and attain equilibrium at pH 7 to 8. Uh, the foam uh, rubber is curved uh, before drying. It has some properties and uses. Uh, they are highly abrasion. Abrasion means the upper surface cracking and breaking uh, is not easily possible. That's why it is called abrasion resistant. They have high uh, chemical durability even at high temperature. They are highly resistant to ozone and oxygen, oxidation. It is used in the making of bed pillows, uh, mattresses, under carpet, padding, furniture, cushions, automotive pads, vibration, damping, and insulation. So with this, I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the uh, lecture.